Right now, a search is on for an armed man last seen near Sandalwood High and Alden Road Exceptional School in Arlington. Sky 4 flew over the scene when both were on lockdown for a while today. So far, police have not identified who they are looking for. News for Jacks reporter Haley Winslow is joining us live from Sandalwood. Haley, are police still out there searching? Tom, no, they're not. But earlier today, they had Sandalwood High School and the neighborhood nearby surrounded with canines out, rifles drawn, the chopper overhead looking for this armed man on the loose who they believe was hiding in the woods nearby after shooting at someone in a house. That ravine back there, I mean, you could hide anything back there. Anybody could hide. And that's exactly where a man was hiding with a gun, trying to evade police. With rifles ready near nervous neighbors, JSO, using dozens of patrol units, canine, and the chopper, could see the man but couldn't catch him. At 9 a.m., JSO says he shot at another person on Whitehorse Road, prompting lockdowns on Sandalwood High School and Alden Road Exceptional Student Center. And I would think given the, the Duval County presence, uh, you know, school police and the presence of police in the area, that that's the last place he would likely go. That was purely precautionary. Anytime the man didn't hurt anyone, but took off with the gun in the woods of a neighborhood near Whispering Woods Boulevard and Whispering Woods Place. That's where John Raji just bought a home and was checking on his contractors when he came across the chaos. It kind of puts a little question mark on your face, but it happens. Athena Delion just happens to be leaving the neighborhood. Um, actually moving tomorrow, so I kind of think this is probably a good idea. <laughs> I just want to come home for lunch and let my dogs out, that's all. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there. Rafael Canales, worried about his neighbors, warned them to stay away until it's safe. Call the people that are at work and everything and let them know what's going on in the neighborhood before they come in. Police do not believe the suspect was ever on school property. They still have not found the man or his gun. Reporting live in Sandalwood, I'm Haley Winslow, Channel 4, the local station.